It is a, a pretty big unit, as you can see. Alright guys, since the fishing is slow, I'm going to do uh, a little bit of a review on my ice hut that I'm in. It's the uh, Freybell Citadel. I was looking on YouTube when I went to buy this hut, and there's really no reviews on it. Like, there's a couple that just briefly talk about the model itself, like kind of what it is, but there's nothing that really goes into good detail about it, uh, which would have been nice to know when I was going to purchase it, because it's a little bit different than what I was expecting. So from where I'm sitting, there is a lot of room in here. Um, three people can fish in here, no problem. Um, two is really comfortable. Uh, with one, it's way more than enough. Um, it's It's got the little rod holders built into the corners over here. Um, so yeah, you're standing up in it. So it's got the built-in sleigh, of course. The sleigh is uh, probably 10 inches deep, I'm going to say, at least. It's, uh, it's fairly deep. And this one has the boat seats, so they uh, do the swiveling and whatnot. Uh, they also slide back and forth on the hut itself. Now they also have uh, some aluminum reinforcement that goes all the way across the front of the hut here so that when you're sitting on it, the, the sleigh doesn't bend over too far. Now this one's a little bit different than a conventional flip-over style hut, so it still has your two cross beams right here. Um, a lot of other flip over ones have your uh, your other cross beam that comes up right here. But instead this one has poles that you put up top here, big stretcher poles. So at the front here, you have to flip up this bar here instead. So it flips straight up and then you snap these stretcher poles in and that gives you a nice flat front. So it's not angled back into your face, so if I go to set the hook on a fish, uh, I don't have to worry about hitting anything uh, in front of me uh, or ripping the cover on it as well. Um, so the sleigh here again is quite large. Like I have a massive uh, plano box in there that I keep all my fishing gear in, my rods, whatnot. Uh, I put my heater on the back of it. I have a little mount for that. I usually put my fish finder on the left side of it here. And then you have all this room underneath the seat. You could put uh, your auger if you had a hand auger. Even a power auger fits in there, no problem. Um, I don't usually put mine in there unless I don't have the snowmobile, which I do today. So It also has four windows in it. So when you're sitting down, it has one right in front of you. One obviously right to your right, so you can see your tip-up line outside. Same thing to the left side. And then... Uh, it has one more directly behind you here as well. Um, it is a pretty big unit. It's uh, It's got to be over five feet wide here where I'm sitting. Um, it's pretty tall too, like I'm 6'4", and my head uh, does touch the, the roof here in the middle, but not very much. I can stand straight up in here, no problem. Uh, so this model also has the side doors, which is uh, pretty neat. You don't have to walk over my transducer, my heater, any of that stuff. Um, it's got the two side doors, so with two of you in here, uh, it's pretty easy to get outside and do whatever you need to do. Alright, so we'll head outside and I'll show you guys the outside here. This is a, a pretty big unit, as you can see. Um, it does have reflecting strips on it here so you can see it at night. Also does have the clear uh, pockets so that you can put uh, any numbers in there that you need if you're required to have numbers for your hut in that area. Now I have it hooked up to my snowmobile right now. Um, Freybill does sell a tow bar kit that you can put on it but I don't have that. I actually made this hitch myself, welded it up and uh, also made up this pole here as well, steel pole with a uh, 1 and 7 eighths ball instead. I think the frayable one, you just put a pin in it kind of thing, but um, I also tow another sleigh with this sled every once in a while, so it's nice to just have a 1 7 eighths ball. Um, I also made this auger holder too as well. Um, it's something else that you can buy too, but I decided just to make one. It's pretty easy to make. Just get some... Uh, 
what is that, like inch and a quarter or inch and a half square tubing. And then uh, just kind of make one up yourself. And I just have the strap here that holds it in place and uh, it works pretty mint. Just saves you from trying to put the auger inside the, the shack here all the time, which isn't really practical. Especially if you're the kind of guy that likes to move around a lot, which I'm not really the kind of guy that likes to move around too much, but I, uh, I will move a couple times a day if need be. Anyway guys, that's, uh, that's going to do it for today. Um, I did end up getting one white fish right up to the hole and lost it. Uh, I had a couple other ones on today, but uh, that's going to do it for today. So, if you guys have any questions about the uh, the Frabel Citadel, um, you can just leave your questions in the comments below, and I'll get back to you on that. But we will see you next week.